On the morning of day three, we woke up really early to make sure that we got to the parking lot at the Continental Divide, where we'd be doing our hiking for the day. We were able to get there, and we snagged one of the last spots. We got there, and we had breakfast at the truck. Some cereal, some milk, some Jacob, and some mountains. Fixing the truck. I'm good with 
literally whatever plan right now, as long as we make it back. I think we should take it slow and start heading back now, though. As long as you think Sadly. you have towing coverage on your truck. If I don't, I could pay for the tow. I have to. Yeah, we already trusted. Really we already helpful. trusted it for seven hours. Yeah, exactly. He's opening it and it's gonna let us take a look at it. You know, he's gonna open it and drain the fluid that's in the axle and let us look in there okay. and see like what comes out. You know, and what's what's left. Delicious burger. And then he like opens it up. He throws all the vegetables over his head and then he eats it. Man. Took a couple of top of the teeth off, didn't it? Oh, it took a lot of it off, yeah. Problem is, I'm a good week and a half out right now. I know, I know most companies don't operate like this, but if I like gave you an extreme like tip or is there a service fee that I can do to expedite myself to like right now, call somebody, maybe I like put a little bit of money towards their repair. I did call a couple places that you called too. They said some of the guy just called about an hour ago. Yeah. Hour. yeah. So wishers and all that. We've been looking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if nobody has it. Yeah. yeah. But how far is Spokane from here? Like 250 miles. So they don't have it. Yeah. Either way, regardless. Yeah. See, so we're relying on Ford to have stuff now. Yeah, yeah your, own, your only option is Ford. Yeah. You don't have nothing left. Yeah. You got one of those freak deals to where you're gonna have to bite the bullet. Yeah, yeah, I figured. I only see maybe four of these every two years. Like that? Yeah. Dad's like, oh yeah. After leaving the mechanic shop, <laughs> we started to head on out to Lake Como. About five miles out, the truck started to seize. So we pulled over threw it in 4x4 four four and made our way on out. We made our way up a dirt road and then camped there for the night. Tomorrow we wake up to the lake and then head on out to the Sawtooth Mountains to go backpacking. <laughs>